Today we will have fun with electricity slash lightning effect in Photoshop. <coughs> so, <coughs> let's start. Hey guys, it's Nemanja and welcome to another really fun episode. Today I will show you how to create this electricity slash lightning effect in Photoshop. So without further ado, let's the fun begin. Alright guys, today we will use this image and we will apply that electricity slash lightning effect on this image to make it even more interesting. So first what we need to do is to create that lightning effect. There are a few different techniques how you can create that in Photoshop and I will show you a few of them. First and maybe most known method is to use render clouds in Photoshop. So to do that you will need default colors, black and white, if you have some other colors uh, here on color palette as foreground and background, you just need to press D on the keyboard as default or just click on this icon above. I will press D on the keyboard and now I have default colors. So we have two ways. We can go to filters, render and clouds to render these clouds and then we can go again to filter, render and difference clouds, all right? And we will have something like this. As you can see, we have something like lightning shape here in the black parts and we need that to be white. So we will invert the layer by pressing Ctrl or Command I like this. And now we have this white lightning. But we have a lot of uh, other stuff here that we don't want to have. So we will use the levels to remove, or you can use curves, of course, it's the same, to remove unwanted parts. I will just press Ctrl or Command L on a keyboard to load the levels here and I will go and move those blacks all the way to the right until I have those lines. And this is something that we, we can use. We can press OK and we can choose a lasso tool here and just select something that we want to have as lightning, inverse the selection with Shift Control I or Shift Command I on a Mac and delete everything else. As you can see, we have something like a lightning shape and we can put this layer into screen blending mode and that's that's it. We can play with this. We can put maybe hue and saturation adjustment layer on the top of that and clip it. So press here colorize and just change the color maybe to some bluish. You can change the saturation and don't mess with this because you have black down below that will become visible if you make it brighter. Okay. And that's it. That's one way how you can create it. Another way how you can create uh, same effect using difference clouds is to create a new layer, go to gradient tool and just put some gradient across, all right? But use, don't use radial, use this linear gradient, right? Put it across like so. And then again, go to filter, but this time go to render and uh, right away to difference clouds, okay? And you will have a little bit different effect. You can press multiple time control or command F now that uh, you apply this filter and it will apply again and again and again until you're satisfied with the result and when you're satisfied you can invert the layer with Control or command i and again use levels or curves Control command l or Control or command m depends what you want to use levels or curves and just make it darker and then choose any part of this and apply it as that effect Alright guys, this is one way how you can create a lightning effect in Photoshop and I rarely use this method because I like to create this effect from a real life lightning. So for that you will need an image that contains, contains a lightning in it and you can find a lot of free stock images online. So download any of them and I will show you what to do with it. So, so when you have an image with lightning in it, like I have here, you need first to convert this image into black and white. There are a lot of ways. I will use a keyboard shortcut, shift Control u or shift Command u on a Mac to make it black and white. And now I will use levels again, press Control or Command l and just move this slider all the way to have only lighting visible. Or sometimes you will need to move black a little bit, then this mid-tones even more. Depends of overall look of the sky and so on. So I will have something like this and this is looking nice. Maybe to make whites even brighter. 
Let me see. This is not bad at all. And now when I'm satisfied with that, I'll press OK. And I need to invert this again, like I did in a previous example. So to invert it, just press Ctrl or Command I. And we have really nice black lightning. So we will now con convert this into a brush. To convert this into a brush, you can clean this up a little bit if you want. You can use a white brush, press B on a keyboard, use white color and maybe clean something that you don't want to be visible. Maybe I don't want this, like, like so. And I'm pretty satisfied how this looks. Now I will go to edit and define brush preset, okay? And just name this brush like lightning number. I have already a few lightnings creating before, uh, created before I started this tutorial. I think I have five or six of them, I don't know. Let's rename it lightning number six. Okay, and now I have really nice lightning here. That's great. And I can play with, with this brush. And anytime I want, I, I can access this brush really quickly and apply this kind of effect to an image. So it's better when the lightning is white. And now we will apply this lightning on our image. So let's start creating this effect. First, let's create a new layer and I will use just a regular brush. Regular brush here, harder brush, make it smaller like this, great. And I will just catch what I like to create. I like to create a few lightnings from each of those fingers like so. And create some fact that the lightnings are emitted from the fingers and maybe then create some lightnings here like so like just simple effect maybe we can create some lightning going like this something then here maybe maybe around the buttons we will see you can play with this however you want you can use any of your images and just apply this effect to make it a little bit interesting. So this is just our uh, sketch layer. I will create a new layer and now I will go right click and go to my custom created brush. As you can see, I already have a few lightning here already created. I will use one of them, maybe lightning number one for a start and just press and click here. Then I will press Control Command T and move this, move this here and position it to follow my sketch, something like, like this. And then I will use lasso tool and I will just select everything that I don't need. And I will press shift control J to cut this layer and to make a new layer from a cut. So shift control J or shift command J on a Mac. And now I have a new layer with this cut it part. And I will use this, press control command T. I will use this to put it on another finger. Like, look at this. Okay. And then I can hide this layer. And then I will put the mask on both layers. Okay. I will go to brush and just use regular brush. Go back, regular hard brush. And just delete. Let me see. Delete unwanted parts here. I don't like this to be visible and I don't need it. So here I don't need this at all. Okay. And maybe I don't need this or this. And now let's go and create a new layer. And again, create a new lightning. I will use another one that I created before I record this tutorial. So you can use a lot of different images and just create different lightnings from, from them to have different brush. And that's really Nice to have lightning brush included. For my Patreon friends, you can download all of those brushes that I created for this tutorial and complete PSD file, finished PSD file on a Patreon. You will have a link there as usual. So don't worry about that. Okay. I will create mask, go back, use brush and just remove unwanted parts here. That's great. And now I will repeat that for two more fingers. 
And I will speed up this because it's completely the same procedure for every finger, so you don't need to, to watch me doing this. All right, see you in a few seconds. All right, guys, now we are finished with this. Let's add another layer mask just to clean up a few things here like this and add a layer mask right here and let me see right here i will create a new layer above all these lightning layer layers right and i will just use a softer brush white color and just put a circle right here like some energy circle all right and this is first effect i will group all of this into one group by selecting all layers and press ctrl command g and now i have this effect i will duplicate the group ctrl or command j like so and i will move it to this to this uh, arm here and i will tweak it a little bit i will rotate it and then i will go layer by layer and move and tweak it to uh, match the finger so i will fast forward this because it's a little bit boring process Alright guys, that's it. We have, let's rename this. This is right hand and this is left hand. Alright, and now we can create a new adjustment layer. Uh, sorry, new layer, not adjustment layer. And just use any of those lightnings that we created before and just put it here, rotate it, make it smaller and just put it here maybe this one will be smaller i don't know like so okay and i will create another one and i will use a different let me see this one it's not bad so i will rotate it and put it right here i will make smaller one that's it maybe maybe to rotate it a little bit up like like this okay now that we created this we will add some outer glow to to this to have this effect even better so how to how to do that this is really easy and really fun i will go to first to the right hand here to this group okay and i will double click to enter this layer style uh, dialog box if you cannot do this on a group if maybe you're using older version of photoshop you can merge this group into one layer by pressing ctrl command e now you have everything in one layer and then you can double click and do the same effect okay i will just do it on a group because i'm using a new version of photoshop and i will go here to outer glow click that we can choose a color i will use a bluish color in this case let's zoom this maybe this color and then we can play with uh, those effects with uh, opacity, right spread, if you want bigger spread or not. I like spread to be on zero for this effect and maybe make it like this. That's great. And we can just copy this effect, the same effect on another layer or a group by holding Ultra Option key, just drag this effect and put it here. That's great. So we can now create, select both of those layers press Control command g or to, to group it or we can do something even better we can move both of those layers to corre corresponding corresponding groups all right this is a uh, right hand so we'll move it into right and it will already have that effect and this is for left and move we will move here and you can see this is really really nice effect already so the next steps are really optional you can add a lot of those lightnings around the hand here and another hand and on the body and so on and so on i will do that really quickly in a fast forward so you don't need to watch me so long uh, doing this but it's completely the same procedure like i did all those lightning so just choose a lightning brush place it modified place it modified and that's it so see you in a few seconds
All right, guys, this is it. Now I will group all of these layers together. Let me see. Yes. And I miss one more. This. Okay, I will group all of these together. Press Control Command G and I will play, apply the same effect on it. This is really, really nice. I can, of course, play with the opacity or the color of this effect on. Maybe it will be a little bit lighter on the arms, like so. All right, and we can create some circular effect. I will show you that really quickly. Just use another, again, a new layer. Choose a lightning, maybe this one, and make it smaller, something like this. And just go and use rectangular marquee tool, all right? Press shift and create a square and put this lightning approximately in the center of this square, like so, and go to the filter, distort and distort and go to polar coordinates, all right? And wait a few seconds. All right, and just press OK. It will make some circular shape and we can make this smaller and put around the button here. And you can apply that on a several different. Let's create another one. Right click, choose another lightning shape. Maybe, maybe this one, why not? No, it's too big. Let's make smaller a little bit. Now let's use rectangular marquee tool approximately in the middle, go to filter, distort and polar coordinates, press OK. And now we have this circular shape. We can make it smaller and put on another button just as small details here. That's really nice. You can add some small lightnings here if you want to, to emphasize the details, but I will leave it like so. I will group both of them and I will apply this effect, but I need to tweak this effect because the lightnings are a little bit smaller. So I need to go like this and maybe this is okay. This is really okay. And that's basically it guys. Now you can play, have fun with the color correction of this. You can add even more effect if you want. You can do whatever you want. You can maybe go and create a new layer at the top of that, put it in uh, overlay blending mode. Use a regular soft brush. Let's go to soft brush, the first one. Okay. And you can choose some bluish color, maybe lighter bluish color like this. And you can paint maybe with 30% or so right here on the skin or maybe around here. Just to emphasize this a little bit. Okay, and what I like to do here, you can be more precise. This is just for, this is just me showing you what you can do. And I like to create a new layer. I will use really, really white color or all the way white, 100% opacity, but I will use flow maybe 10 or 20%. Let's use 20% and see. And I like to make the top of the fingers white to, with soft brush like this to have impression that this is really going from the fingers that this effect is really from the top of the fingers okay and let's go here a lot of lightnings okay of course be a little bit more precise, I'm doing that, this really fast just for tutorial sake, but you can do it a little bit better. Let me see. This is really nice. Now we have this crazy effect, like it's going from, from the fingers. All right, it will electrify somebody. Okay, and now I can group everything into one layer, actually merge everything into one layer by pressing Shift, Control, Alt, E, or Shift, Command, Option, E on Mac. Okay and find, do a final color correction. I will just go to filter camera row because this is the fastest way and I, and I like it. I will add some contrast. I will add some clarity, lower saturation, go and dehaze it a little bit, add some vignette, maybe brighten the shadows and 
boost the whites a little bit I will maybe brighten everything let me see before and after before and after not bad and I will just go and add some bluish tint into the shadows and some yellowish tint into the highlights have some small split toning effect let me see not bad I'll press ok and you can see this is it you can go even step further and create a new layer use rectangular marquee tool and I'll add those bars at the top fill it with the black if the black it's like it is here a background color you can press Control or command with the backspace and fill it with the black now I will copy this with Control command J and move this all the way down so I will have this cinematic effect and that's basically it guys let me show you one more time this is before and this is after before and after really nice touch to an image to add that electric electrifying or lightning effect alright guys that's it for today I really hope that you like this tutorial and that you learn something new from this episode have fun experiment create few of those custom lighting brushes and play with this effect it is really easy to create it and it can be really powerful on your images if you have any questions regarding to this episode please leave them in the comments below I will be glad to answer them if you want to support me and this channel to make it even bigger and better you can do that by visiting my patreon page the link is down there in the description and in return depending on the supporting level you will get my free brushes PSD files chat with me and so on and so on just go there and check it out so thank you guys for watching this one and see you in the next fun episode bye bye